All right, welcome everyone. Roscoe and I are here. Oops, you can almost see Roscoe. With uh, the I Win Holiday Give Back. I, I really appreciate you guys joining me. So I'm setting up uh, the final details just so I can uh, pay attention to comments and everything. Perfect. So, Roscoe is here, kind of. He's got his hat on. He's prepared. So, I can't say uh, thanks enough, obviously, for joining me on this event tonight. Uh, just to give you a little bit of background on this. This event... Yep. This event started basically uh, 2020 and I decided that this was a chance for me to do something good and give back to the community that's done so much for me with I win myself you know, Roscoe uh, and we decided we wanted to grant a couple wishes so we made a simple post and said let's grant a few wishes what happened was I win members stepped in and said we really want to be a part of this. I want to grant this wish, or I want to grant this wish. Uh, maybe they just said, you know what, here, Tom, I want to give you a little bit of money towards granting more wishes. And, and that's really how it's taken off. So this is our third year. I will tell you that tonight we are going to grant 100 wishes, uh, which absolutely blows my mind. I win members never cease to amaze me. So I really want to make sure that everyone understands though, this is not all my doing at all. This is I win members granting wishes and giving back to the community. 75% of the wishes granted tonight are wishes that people like yourself decided you wanted to grant for whatever reason. Something, when you read that person's wish, resonated with you and you decide, hey, yes, I, I want to be a part of that. I want to grant it. The other 25% were picked up by Neely and Roscoe. Or some people donated and kind of gave me guidelines on what they were looking for. So hopefully I did a good job and picked some good wishes from them. I, I will tell you that it always surprises me what's picked because every person has different things that trigger them for what they're looking for, what the reason they want to grant a wish is. So, you know, I, I always tell people because they're like, well, what are you looking for? It's, it's really up to the individual and I'm different than Susie, than Joe, than Sam. Um, so any of those things. It's going to be a little long broadcast, so i got to make sure I, I stay hydrated. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Here's how you guys can help me, though. It's hard to make sure all these get fulfilled correctly. So I have a list of 10 pages long of wishes, who granted them, whatnot. For the most part, I'm going to tell you that they were granted by an I Win Secret Santa. There are a few people that I will mention specifically, and there's a couple businesses that contributed that I will mention specifically. Uh, but normally what I do is I let that person decide if they want to tell you they granted your wish or not. Some people will, some people will not. If you get granted a wish and you want to give a thank you back, you are welcome to. You can get it to me and I will I will get it to that person. If your name is called tonight, the best thing to do is send a direct message to me. I'll need your name, 
I'll need your address, I'll need your email address, and then some of them have specifics, Make like maybe you request a specific item, so if you have a link to it or uh, a size or something like that, get that to me. If I have questions, I'll get back in touch with you. It's going to take a little bit to fulfill all these, but I will do them over the next few days, this weekend, into next week. I will do them uh, as best I can for you. Let's see, any more things that we need to cover? Some of you guys, Roscoe has already got rid of his hat. You don't like the hat? All right, you don't have to wear the hat. Can't even see my shirt. I, I kind of got a Santa shirt for the occasion. So, all right, so let's uh, let's get to it because we, we have an awful, awful lot to do. Uh, questions, comments, you're welcome to interact with each other, but most of the questions I'll probably skip over. We'll do a different live for those. But let's start with uh, Judy MC. Judy MC is getting the first wish of the night. I wish for Amazon gift cards so I can buy Shannon Minky fabric to make blankets for soldiers returning for de from deployment in the Middle East. The fabric's roughly $20 a yard, and it takes four yards to make a blanket. So, not a problem. We, uh, set Roscoe down. We have uh, an Amazon gift card coming your way. Next up, Beth Shepard. My wish this year would be for a gas gift card. My son and his new wife are in the Navy and finally able to come home this year for Christmas. I'm beyond excited. I would love to gift them the card to help them come home. I miss them terribly. Thank you. So Beth, uh, we actually have two people who are going to help out with your wish. Uh, we have $50 Venmo coming your way and we have a $50 gas gift card coming your way also. Now, if I say Venmo and you don't have Venmo, we'll work something out. We'll figure a way to get you taken care of. Um, don't worry about that. I also want to tell you that some of these wishes were maybe partially filled. Uh, some of the wishes maybe were filled by multiple people. So just be aware of that. I will tell you an amount if I know an amount, but if I don't, it means the person who decided on your wish has not told me, uh, so that'll be up to them specifically. Everyone should have Venmo that's entering sweepstakes. Yes, I agree with that statement. It's a good thing to have. Uh, next up, and I apologize if I boss your name. It is not intentional, and anyone who has come to a convention where I've been the MC knows that I really struggle. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm happy that they allow me to MC. I really enjoy it, but uh, I, I do mess some names up. So my apologies in advance. It's not intentional. Paula Glipsy. My mom is from Germany and she had a total knee replacement surgery in June. That followed immediately with a femur fracture. She was in rehab for three months and she couldn't do anything but lie in bed the whole time. It was a nightmare for her. She's now going to PT two to three days a week, still having a very, very hard time walking. Uh, she had this surgery so she could walk normal without pain. This caused her to lose her ability to walk without a walker. Uh, Paula went on to wish for basically a gift card to help buy some German foods. Uh, that would really lift her spirits. And I, I know my thoughts are out to Paula's mom's. I, I'm personal Facebook friends with Paula, so I've seen some of the, the posts and updates, uh, but a secret I win Santa is gifting you $25 towards helping with those. Rochelle Hambry. I have an elderly widowed childless aunt that lives in San Antonio. She lives in a tiny apartment owned by Goodwill Industries. I want to make her life a little brighter by gifting her gift certificates. Goodwill drives her to Walmart once a week, as well as HEB grocery store. It would be even fantastic to get meals delivered to her. She never asks for anything, even 
if she does need assistance. Help me make her Christmas a bit sweeter. If you would like to be able to put her address on here. Oh, she asked about giving out her address. Now, I didn't want a gazillion addresses out there. But I did offer to put her. So I am going to I'm going on here right now to comment with her address and her name. And it's just going to say address for Christmas cards. And she said that if you just say you're a friend of Rochelle's, that way it won't confuse her where the card came from. So I thought it was a pretty cool wish. If anyone wants to help her out and do that, uh, I think that would be really great. Go ahead and take care of that. Um, also, an I Win Secret Santa has a $70 Walmart gift card that is going to be coming your way as well. And I kind of have some of the wishes tonight broken up in categories. So these are kind of the uh, general, a lot of these have a need to them. Um, her name is Rochelle Hamby. It's R-O-C-H-E-L-L-E. -E. R O C H E L L E. So there's there's all kinds of different ones. Like you'll you'll see, I have some for teachers. I have some for pets. I have some that I call kind of the fun ones. We're going to do those at the end. Um, but there's there's all different things. And if your wish didn't get picked tonight, um, I know there's a lot of people who maybe deserve it more, uh, you know, who didn't get it. But there's, again, there's all kinds of different reasons why somebody picked uh, a wish. So don't be disappointed um, that you didn't get picked. And, and again, I, I know there's probably some great, amazing people out there that aren't going to get those wishes granted tonight. Uh, hopefully those that can. You know, I, I always like to do something for someone else just because like it's my my thoughts are not always based on need sometimes they are sometimes they're just doing something nice that you don't even know if they need it or don't um, so you can always do that uh, someone asked you know, where do I write the wishes so the wishes there's there's always a post about a week before this event so I made a post last week and it was an official post and that uh, that is where you you would have posted your wishes. Unfortunately, at this point, you know, we've picked all the wishes. They're all picked now. But if you're looking at it for next year, about a week before is when I put it out there. And you go on, you can make one wish. I do ask people to keep wishes up to $100. So that way we can grant as many as possible. So moving on. Uh, Kim Cowger. I've been lucky that I don't normally have to worry about the holidays, but this year we aren't where we were in the past financially. My son is slowly building a computer. He built his last one many years ago and it's really outdated. My wish is to be able to help him with computer parts, so I'm asking for a gift card for Amazon Micro Center or somewhere that carries computer parts. Um, so a Secret Santa has a Micro Center gift card uh, coming to you. So we have one of those. Next up, Lisa Canada. Turn on caption. Yeah, you know, I thought I had those on. Let me see if I can try and do that real quick. I'd like to get that on for you guys. I know some of you guys use that. See if I can find where to do it real quick. I 
I apologize. I cannot. So I will try and get those on for the replace. Oh, captions are on. Perfect. Okay. I thought I had set up. Excellent. So somebody said on the on the video on the bottom right corner, just click CC. Because I do have them on, so you can turn them on or off for your personal one. So, sorry about that. Uh, Lisa Canada. Lisa Canada. Uh, my team really needs a new chest binder so that they can feel comfortable. In their own skin uh, we have a Walmart order or gift card um, I have one person that's willing to take care of that for you so they're either going to get that ordered for you or get you a gift card uh, so get with me on that Deborah Miller I wish for sewing materials and supplies to make more 18 inch doll clothes for little girls having a difficult time uh, this was actually a really popular wish so we have a lot of people who are into the similar things and so i actually have three people that combined and they're all going to send you a package with some items to help you make those so they all want to do that Uh, next up, Joyce Shawless, S-H-A-U-L-I-S, Shawless. A grocery gift card for my grandson and his wife who is sick and can't work to help out with the bills. This would, They would really appreciate that. So I actually have someone who donated a $25 Giant Eagle gift card, and it looked like you were in Pennsylvania. So hopefully you are near Giant Eagle. Uh, but if so, I have a $25 Giant Eagle gift card that I would like to get in your hands. Lami asked, A-S-T, Lami asked. Uh, Though $100 wouldn't fully cover to fix my mom's roof, that is the wish I would wish for. Me growing up, me going, not growing up, going up on the roof to just patch it uh, isn't helping anymore. So obviously roofs are very expensive, uh, but I do have an I Win Secret Santa that is donating $40 that will get to you uh, by Venmo towards your mom's new roof. Janet Evans. My stove burned up night before last. Luckily, I was standing there when it started sparking and burning. My house could have burned. I could sure use $100 to help with the purchase of a new electric stove. Yeah, they're not cheap. I actually just ruined my stove, and uh, I did go out and get one. Uh, so we uh, we have a I Win Secret Santa who has $100 uh, Venmo coming your way to help with the purchase of your new stove. Uh, Patty Ketron, uh, she asked for $100 to help pay her hospital bill uh, after being admitted for COVID and having some complications. So we have a $20 Venmo coming your way from a secret Santa. Uh, Stacy Lucas, a little over a month ago, I delivered my stillborn daughter and a week ago, my mom passed away. I'd really like $100 to get presents, groceries for my four other kids uh, since I can't work for 12 weeks because she had some, some medical complications from it as well. Uh, Stacy, we actually have two I Win Secret Santas that are going to help you out. We have one that uh, has $100 Venmo coming your way. And then we have another member that has offered to get pizza or something to eat for your family one night. They'll get it and get it delivered. So we will get with me. We'll make arrangements 
and we'll figure that out. If if I if you know some of the people who I am reading off and who I'm announcing, you're more than welcome to tag them so that they know. You know, maybe they're not watching this. Maybe they're going to watch it on on replay. Um, obviously, there's a lot of people <laughs> to track down and make sure that these wishes get fulfilled. So by all means, tell them, tag them. Uh, Facebook business pages like I win are very are much more limited now than they used to be a few years ago as far as how we can reach out to people and how we can contact people. So that's why I that's why I ask for for you guys to do some of those. Next up, uh, Susan Landers said, wish item, Amazon gift card to purchase some replacement wire bud earbuds. $25 would cover a new pair of headphones. Uh, we have a $25 Amazon gift card coming your way so that uh, you can get those new headphones. Eleanor Cooper, I would wish for an Amazon gift card. I try to win them constantly to help an elderly friend make ends meet. Uh, well, good news, we have a um, $100 Amazon gift card coming your way from a I Win Secret Santa. Jalisa Gilbert. My mother's on dialysis and she's always cold. I would love to buy her a heated blanket as a gift. Uh, Jalisa, do me a favor. I want you to uh, send over all your information and I want you to go on Amazon and Pick one out that you think she'd like and let me know and we're going to pick up that and get that one over to you. E.K. Polisek. Have you ever seen the movie with the quote, Fat Man in Little Coat? Tommy Boy. All time great movie, right? Well, I have not. I have not. But that is what my mom said when she laughed two months ago when I walked up to her at hockey without my jersey on. See, my chest pads are a bit too small. She said I look funny. The next week we went shopping for new pads, but I was being a typical preteen who stomped around like a toddler. I'm thinking mom helped write this. So mom looked at me and walked out of the store and followed without new chest pads. Uh, that was six weeks ago and still has not gotten me new pads. The photo of me today with my two sizes, two small chest pads. I put them on my wish list as I'm hoping Santa will bring them because my mom won't. My mom told me about Tom's wish, wish granting and asked if I could try for my pads. She has agreed and helped me write this out. So here goes my wish for new hockey chest pads. Um, there is a photo of him too. So, uh, uh, a secret Santa felt bad. I'm okay. Thank you. Uh, a secret Santa felt bad and has granted that wish. So we'll figure out sizes. We'll figure out how to get those to you. And uh, we will definitely do that. Uh, let's see who we got next. Jane Gerdeman Hampshire, H-O-M-S-H-E-R, Hampshire. I need a cooler to take to the hospital for my clinic times in infusion. Want a few coolers. Um, so we don't know specifically what you need, but we want to figure that out, and um, we, will, we will get that. We have an Iowa Secret Santa that uh, wants to get that over to you. So moving on, we kind of move into a few of the areas for like teachers. So, so the teachers, uh, let's start with uh, Lauren Robinson Little. Lauren Robinson Little. I'm a preschool teacher. I have been making sensory bins for my classroom. I'd love about $50 to make a few more bins. My students really enjoy these and more materials and would allow me to swap them out and let more students use them at a time. 
I buy items at Dollar Tree, Amazon, Target, Michaels, and Hobby Lobby. Thank you. So I actually have uh, two, two secret centers that are going to help you out. Uh, one's not so secret. Uh, one is the contest queen, Carolyn. Uh, some of you guys know her. If not, give her a follow. She uh, donated uh, a couple wishes. So I want to give her a specific shout out because it is a business. Um, she, um, she has $50 coming your way. And then also I have another secret Santa that has some Legos and some items that they're going to pack together and they're going to uh, get on your way, get it on your way as well. Someone asked about, um, let me pull it up. The, so I mentioned this is the, this is the third year that we've done this. And I'm just pulling up right now. Uh, we have, we've put the past two years on YouTube and I will eventually get tonight's up there as well, but I'll put the YouTube link on here. We just, we just started our YouTube channel. So, um, I guess my wish is go subscribe to the channel. There's no cost, you know, check it out. Uh, we're gonna put a lot of our content. We've done a lot of the interviews. We're gonna put that stuff over there on uh, YouTube because I know that's becoming quite popular for ways to, to watch. Uh, who we got next? Kim How How Pain Treadwell. My wish for an Amazon gift card to use for classroom surprise supplies. I teach second grade at a low income rural area. This would really benefit a lot of kids. Same thing. Uh, Contest Queen Carolyn has fifty dollars coming your way. So shout out to her. Thank you for uh, taking part in our broadcast and helping out with some of the wishes tonight. My Linda Fisher Garrett, Linda Fisher Garrett. My niece is a teacher. This year she is teaching three fifth grade math, teach, math classes. She could really use a couple of boxes of dry erase markers for these students. Well, good news. Uh, send me a link of, uh, if you have specific ones, but I have an I win secret Santa that's going to get you those markers. Rachel Faulkner, another teacher. I'm a teacher at an alternative school, public school, but 100% special education students. We do not have a PTA. We are a small school, and I would love to get coffee and donuts for us to enjoy. Everyone works so hard at my school, so a Dunkin' Donuts gift card of $50 would be awesome. Well, good news. Uh, we have a $50 Dunkin' Donuts gift card coming your way from a Secret Santa. Uh, next up, Crystal Allen. I've lost 45 pounds through diet this year. Congratulations, that's fantastic. I know how hard that is and uh, I think a lot of people can relate on how difficult and challenging that can be. I'd love two new pairs of jeans and a few long sleeve tops from a big box store. I'm not picky. Uh, they can be $20 jeans and $50 tops. I went from 18 inch waist uh, 1x to a 14 inch uh, size large. So thank you, uh, thank you for the chance. So I actually have two IWIN members that are going to be Secret Santa's and help you with th this. Uh, one person said they went through uh, the same thing this year. And so they really uh, wanted to help you out. So they have $25 Venmo coming your way towards some new clothes. And then I have another member, and I apologize because I don't, I don't have the name of her store, but uh, she does clothing and jewelry. And so I have her contact info. I'm going to put you in touch with her, and she's going to put together a package of some items 
in the right sizes and get them over to you. So, so we will um, we'll get that over as well. Uh, somebody said, you know, I feel my wish was superficial hearing these stories. So again, there there are stories all across the boards, uh, from need to just wants to just fun. So there's really a variety of wishes tonight and and we're going to take care of a few of each of them so so if you had a fun wish stay tuned i have the fun wishes at the end i'm, I'm telling you that right now um so if you had just a kind of a unique fun one i do have uh, some of those that we're going to take care of um i do want to say too is when you get these wishes one like i said before if if you want to send a thank you or something back to the person who donated it and they didn't tell you who they were, you're welcome to send it to me and I'll get them to you. I would love if you would post and tag like hashtag I win give back. You can send me photos. You can just post them. Um, but the biggest thing is, believe it or not, there's still people who don't don't believe these are. And there's so many you know, there's so many scams nowadays on the internet and, you know, so many things that you see posted that when someone actually stands here and just grants thousands of dollars in wishes, um, you can understand why some people are, spect are, are skeptical. So we're not, it's legit. If I'm calling your name, you're getting a wish. So do me that favor and, uh, you know, send me some photos, videos. We'll, we'll post some later on. We've done this every year. We've kind of made little montages of them. So... You don't have to. You're not obligated by any means. But if you want to, that's uh, that's great. It, it it at least lets people know that uh, these are all real, and um, you know we're we're doing just a ton of good tonight, and and really touching uh, so many different people. So so thank you for that. And again, just to remind people, this is not all me. This is majority of IWIN members. So this is the type of community we have and there's a lot of sweepstakes sites out there but when I say that one I say we win the most which I believe two we just have amazing amazing members uh, <laughs> very smart members very intelligent members um, but they they do a lot of good and and this is just a prime example so anyone who's been in our discord channel knows that I mean some of the help and, and things that people have done, you know, outside of the wishes is people, people really go to bat for other people and help them out. So can't say thanks enough for the community that uh, I'm fortunate to be, be a part of. Where are we? Um, next up, Kelly Woods. Kelly Woods, a grocery gift card would be such a blessing for our family. My husband's on disability with the rising, with rising prices. Things are really tough right now. Thank you for being a blessing and doing this. Merry Christmas. Uh, Kelly, we have $50 uh, Venmo coming your way from a secret Santa. Dorothy Deakney, D-E-A-K-Y-N-E. -E. Dorothy Deakney. I would love a gift card to buy my son a Christmas gift or anything sports for a teenager. Winds are slim for me this year and I have no gifts under the tree for him. Thanks for the sight. Uh, so we have a person that's willing to get a couple items for him or send you a gift card um, from Walmart. So we will uh, we'll get in touch and we will make that happen. Next up. Susan Taylor. Susan is one of my favorite people. She does a ton of good for people. I, I can't say it enough. So... Of course, she didn't ask for anything for herself. My wishes for my niece, Sarah, who's 24. At the age of 15, she started losing her eyesight. Within a few months, she had lost all sight from one eye and most from another. That one eye is, is like looking out of a pinhole is how she describes it. So sad for a sweet young lady who has to have a seeing eye dog and depend on others for rides. Publix hires people with disabilities and she works there part time, but struggles financially and emotionally. I would love just a gift card like Kohl's or Ultra to give her uh, as an unexpected surprise and make her feel special. Uh, so we have an Iron Wind Secret Santa that's willing to help you out with that. Um, and she wants me to get with you and see if we want to get that to you to give to her or if we want to get that to her directly. 
Um, so Susan, reach out to me and uh, we will get that taken care of. E.L. Eldridge. And E.L. Eldridge, I don't think, I don't think they expected to hear their name call because this was this was their wish they said I wish for my family's good health and happiness kind of hard to totally fulfill that for you but I do have a $25 Walgreens gift card and I, I thought it was nice that that was what you wished for so I wanted to uh, get you this this was donated by a member uh, and said find a good home for it so Hopefully the $25 Walgreens gift card will at least help you with the health part. So, so we'll get that over to you. Uh, Tracy M. Cooper. I would love a Stanley or Yeti tumbler with handle that I can take to my weekly infusion appointments so that my infusion nurses are not having to play bartender as often uh, with those 8-ounce small bottles of water. Um, we have an Iwood Secret Santa who's going to, uh, who's going to get that over to you. Uh, Gigi Troux, Gigi Troux, T-R-U-A-X. My holiday wish is for a $25 gift card to buy ingredients to make cookies. We all kind of want to know what kind of cookies, and if you have them to share. But I guess with 25 bucks, you probably don't have a lot to share. Regardless, we have $25 uh, coming your way in the form of a gift card so that you can make those cookies. Maybe next year, bigger wish, we'll get some of our own cookies. Todd Fields. I wish for a gift card to Walmart to give a former co-worker at the college I retired from. Congrats on your retirement a couple years ago, Todd. I've known Todd for a long time. She works with a she works with the homeless each weekend, and she can buy socks, mittens, hats to distribute to them. Uh, we have a either Walmart order or gift card uh, that uh, a Secret Santa is going to help get those taken care of for you. Leslie Tooley. I wish for Target or Amazon gift card so I could help my niece and nephews a, a few, with a few Christmas presents to put under the tree. My nephew was severely burned 20% of his body in October and was in the hospital for a while. His medical bills coming in and dad was off work to be with him. I know it would help ease the burden of buying Christmas presents with all the unexpected expenses. I would love to help make all my nieces and nephews Christmas wishes come true this year. Uh, so we will get you either a hundred dollar Walmart or a hundred dollar Amazon gift card to help uh, to help you get them a few things. And that's uh, and I win. Secret Santa is taking care of that for you. Uh, Jennifer Duncan Man Han. I wish for a gift card to either a store or Amazon to help us get a few things for my special needs kids. We have been having a rough time and this would help. Uh, we have a same thing, a Walmart gift card or we'll get you a couple items from Walmart. I, I, have, I have one really generous secret Santa who uh, won, uh, won a, a larger Walmart gift card. And so she's using it to take care of a bunch of wishes. And she's not sure if she can get that split up to give you the gift cards or just order the items. So when I say that, most of those are from one person. So she was, uh, she was very generous in that, and I thank her for it. Um, she knows who she is. She can tell you if she wants on the wishes. But uh, thank you to her. Um, Mr. Todd Rumsey. Todd said, uh, I would love a gift card to Walmart so my grandkids can shop for their great-grandmother and get her whatever they want. 
Uh, that would thrill them and their 90-year-old great-grandma uh, that they picked out their presents with their own ideas. So I got to tell you, I, you know, and I'll share some of the ones that I personally picked because, you know, they, they had meaning to me. And this was one that I read in, I don't know, I remember like in school, your parents give you a few dollars and you had the like the Christmas boutique and, you know, you'd get your dad like the little toolkit. And, you know, I just remember that when I was really young and I was so excited to pick out the little things that I want to, to give my, my parents or, uh, you know, my brother. And so I just, I just thought that was really cool and, and a really good idea. So I decided I wanted to, uh, I wanted to personally take care of this one. I'm not going to tell you all the ones I personally took care of, but some of them, there's some logic and some reason too. And, and this was one of them. So, Todd, uh, get with me. I'll get you a gift card. Take those grandkids and uh, and have a good time shopping. So let's move on to pets. A lot of pet wishes. I mean, just an awful lot of pet wishes this year. I'm a big fan of pets, so I can't complain. Joanne... St. Pierre, I volunteer for a free pet food pantry for those in need and they're always desperate for cat and dog food. I'd love to buy some pet food for them with my wish. So, uh, so this is another one of those where we'll, we'll either get you an order or a gift card. Um, that's the one person I mentioned. So one way or another, they'll, they'll make sure that you can get some pet food for that, uh, that wish. And just a reminder, what I said at the beginning is if your name's called during the broadcast, I want you to reach out to me by direct message on, on Facebook. So you got to direct message me from the account that you made the wish on. That way I know it's really you. Need your name, need your address, need your email. And then if there was anything particular about your wish, like sizes or a certain item or something, you might want to include that. That'll make my life a little easier. Have some patience with me. I'll get to them. I promise you. So if it gets a couple days and you haven't heard from me, get back to me. But I, I imagine here over the weekend, I'll get to most of them. Well, I got to get you matched up with the different donors and secret Santas. And uh, we'll make them happen as quick as we can. But, uh, but have some patience with me. Lisa Pecora. We going to see Rob. Roscoe was here. I don't know where he went. He took his Santa hat off and he bailed. So Roscoe's getting a little bit older. Works a lot shorter days now. So uh, I, I know some of you guys are asking about these wishes and how you can take part. Uh, unfortunately for this year, you're too late. I hate to say that, but I make a post about a week before we do this event. And I pin it to the top of Facebook and I talk about it on social media. And every person's allowed one wish up to $100. They can wish for whatever they want. It can be serious. It can be fun. It can be funny. It can be for someone else. It can be for a donation. I don't really care. Some of them are like $5. Some of them are 100 bucks. There were a few people who went over 100 bucks. I had a seven-day cruise, laptop. I actually had three people, I think, wish for cruises. Um... I'm not granting any cruises tonight. Sorry. Sorry to kill your dreams on that one. Uh, I guess shoot for the moon. But, uh, you know, that that's that's what we're looking for. So if you missed it this year, hopefully you remember it. It's a cool event. It's my favorite event to do each year. Come back next year. We'll do it again. So I know that a lot of you guys are probably tuning in for the, you know, the first time you happen to be scrolling through Facebook and you caught it and you're like, Who's this guy just giving away all this stuff? Again, not just me. This is iWin members. So iWin members have taken care of 75 to 80% or more of these wishes. So huge, huge shout out and props to them. And people donate all different amounts and donate all different... You know, wishes, for example, some people fulfilled multiple wishes. Uh, you know, some people just sent me a few dollars and said, hey, put it towards a wish. So 
they all still contributed and I can't thank them all enough. All right, so let's see, uh, where are we at? We're on Pets. We are at Lisa Pacor. Lisa Pacor was, my wish is for some new toys and treats for my foster cats. So uh, we will get you some toys and treats and get those uh, their way. Actually, you know what? We have a we have a twenty-five dollar Amazon gift card. So we're gonna let you pick out your own, but we have a twenty-five dollar Amazon gift card uh, coming your way that was sent by a Secret Santa. Uh, Monica McCarthy, my wish is for a PetSmart or Amazon gift card, or anywhere we can buy pet food supplies. This little lady came crying to our door a few months ago. She was only about five weeks old. Her eyes were badly injured and we hoped they could be saved, but there was nothing they could do except to remove her eyes. We already have three dogs now and with the cost of surgery plus in our mouth field, it's getting very expensive. So uh, Monica to help out uh, an I win secret Santa has given me a $100 Amazon gift card to get in your hands. So we will get that to you. Uh, next up, uh, Wendy Black. My mom took in my son's turtle and she is learning how to care for him. Uh, she, does, she does not have a lot of money and I would love a gift card to Pet Supplies to help with the new expense. Thank you, Squirtle, which is the turtle's name, Squirtle, is very special. So we have an I Win Secret Santa that uh, has, um, has $50 Venmo coming your way to help out with, um, with any of the pet supplies that you might need for that. Um, Mary McGuire. Looking for some pet toys or food or a gift card to PetSmart to go and pick up some things to donate to a local shelter with my daughter. Uh, again, we have a Walmart order slash gift card. One way or another, we'll get you some items so that you can uh, get those taken care of. Kathy Ku Kendall. K-U-Y Kendall. We have four special needs rescue kittens who love catnip. Do all cats love catnip? I've never had a cat. I think they do, right? Uh, all our trauma cases, including one nearly blind and a three-legged tripod. My wish is that you bless our kitties with a catnip pie for Christmas. My daughter and I don't buy gifts for each other. Uh, the only ones we usually buy for is them. Uh, this year's been a little tough, just reading everyone's posts. Hopefully a better 2023 for all. Uh, we have some... I win Secret Santa that's going to uh, take care of getting getting your kittens uh, some catnip. So uh, get with me and we will do that. All right, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm sorry, the way, the way it's set up tonight, like I, I can't really, I can't really look at all the comments like normal so Facebook's always changing things around drives me crazy um, Amy Munoz uh, I'm a crazy cat lady who walks her cat on a leash uh, Mochi or Moki M-O-C-H-I has been awesome and some of these people included photos so unfortunately you can't can't show you the photos, but they are. If you go back to the wish list, you'll see the photos posted. You can see the one of the, the poor kid with the small pads. Um, you can see some of the some of the pets ones have posted photos. But Moki's uh, been so awesome with his leash. Um, and I'd love to get him a retractable one so he can go a little farther. So Amy, uh, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go on Amazon. Can you tell I, I like buying things on Amazon? It's just super easy. Um, go on Amazon, pick out a lease that's going to work for your cat, send it over to me, your address, your information, and we'll get that out to you. 
Uh, Janice McKay Donahue. I would love an eyewind renewal and some new squeaky toys and a warm jacket for the harsh Michigan winter for my Benji. And Benji had a picture. So uh, so Roscoe picked this one out. And um, he he's not buying the, the warm jacket for Benji, unfortunately. Because he hates clothes. Believe it or not. I know you guys have seen him in some photos. And he sees them just like the hat. Here's, here's the Santa hat. He left it. Had a scarf. He didn't want that either. He doesn't like them. But he does love squeaky toys. So uh, he has some favorite squeaky toys that come from Amazon. So I want you to get with me and I'll be sending you some squeaky toys. Tiffany Duke. I follow lots of animal rescue transport groups. Uh, there are people working endless hours to help abandon animals. I wish to help even one animal by collecting money to help with the adoption fees or transportation from the shelter to a rescue. I did help a bonded pair and they were saved. Best feeling. Uh, we have an iWin member that's willing to uh, make a donation as a Secret Santa on your behalf to whichever rescue you choose. So get me all that information and we will take care of that. I do have a couple items just to give out in, in general um, that maybe people donated and, and just didn't really get picked. Um, some of them we'll do over the next week or so. Uh, but, but I do have one item, and so I'm going to throw this out to everyone watching. I have two Six Flags tickets. They were donated by an Iowan member. They expire at the end of this year okay so you have to be someplace that you can use it in the next two weeks there are there are no blackout dates so you got two tickets that you can use uh, by the end of this year if you can use them I want you to just make a comment with hashtag six flags the number six flags that way I can pull them out and I can look at them um, and I'll choose one person at random I'll message you and I'll get you those tickets so that you can enjoy Six Flags before now and the end of the year. But all I ask is that only comment if you can really use the two flag, Six Flags tickets. So I don't know what Six Flags are still open. I know there's some that are open year round. So if you're, if you're near Six Flags, you got some time over the next two weeks, you wanna go comment and I will uh, pick a random person. We'll, we'll give this a little bit of time, so I'll probably pick it sometime tomorrow, and I'll message the person and uh, get this over. But again, uh, just comment. Use the number six flags, F-L-A-G-S, hashtag. So if you can do that, that would be great. Make that four tickets. So fortunately, I did see that. Uh, Wendy... Uh, Jabkowski has generously donated uh, two more. So what I'll do is I'll pick two winners. I'll pick two winners of two tickets each. Um, yeah, see, maybe a family of four would like to go. Here, here's what I want you to do. Okay. <laughs> Use the hashtag six flags and tell me if you need two or if you need four. Or if you can just use two. Regardless, I have four tickets. I'll make sure some way someone gets them. And we'll use a random way of figuring it out, and uh, we will get those to someone. So thank you, Wendy. All right, so, so sorry for the confusion on that. So let's go hashtag six, the number, flags. And then tell me if you can use two or four tickets. If you can use either or, tell me either or. I'll pick a random winner. If that random winner has four tickets that they want, I'll give them all to them. If they only want two, then I'll pick a second winner and give them the other two. So that's how we'll do it to make it fair for everyone. And again, I'll pick these sometime tomorrow. So if you're watching it on delay, uh, we'll make sure that you get this. And if somebody asks, can you share this? You're, you're welcome to share this to your personal page. 
Uh, I actually appreciate it. Obviously, it gets me more followers, more likes. Um, you know, but you don't have to. But again, if you want to do that, uh, I posted earlier about a YouTube channel. That's actually, uh, let's see, where did I have that? I'll post again. That's our newest uh, little venture as we are, uh, we're moving a lot of the content over to YouTube. Uh, this is a lot of the existing Facebook Lives, the interviews, different things like that. You can watch the last two I Win Givebacks. This one will be posted there when it's all said and done. So you're welcome to uh, give us a subscribe. That'd be great. Watch some videos, click some likes. It is not a monetized channel, meaning I don't make any money off the channel. Um, we're just moving some content over there to give that as another source of, um, of eyes on I Win. All right, back to wishes. Let's give some more wishes out. So we are up to um, Cindy Sikora. Cindy Sikora, S-Y-K-O-R-A. Uh, somebody asked, we have TikTok. Yeah, we have a TikTok. Our TikTok page is actually growing quite well. It's uh, TikTok's a lot of fun. I'm learning with it. Um, but it's, um, I think it's just at I Win Contest on TikTok. If you go to our um, our personal page, you can see all our social media. But we're always giving things away and doing things. So by all means, follow us on all the, the different social medias. Cindy Sikor. I'd love a Culver's or Casey's gift card to buy volunteers at Perfection Animal Shelter Lunch. So... Cindy, I don't have a Culver's or Casey's gift card, but I did have an extra Subway gift card that somebody donated. So somebody gave me an extra $25 Subway gift card uh, to use for the give back. So if they like Subway, it's yours. Send me an email, address, we'll get it out to you. Phyllis Blouser. So Phyllis said, uh, my wish is a donation to the Turtle Hospital located in Marathon, Florida. Marathon, Florida is down close to Key West, for those who don't know. Hospital cares for sea turtles that have been injured or are suffering from health issues. They strive to return these beautiful creatures to their natural environment. I was actually having a conversation with uh, Lee tonight about some of the wishes and, and just some of the you know, random things people wished for, and I mentioned this wish to her. Uh, reason being is her and I actually went to this facility about a year ago. We actually did the tour of the facility and checked it all out. And um, they take you on a whole tour that you pay and you can get a whole tour. That's how that's part of how they make make money and, and not make my profit, but make money to be able to do all these things. So, so that's really cool. Um, so I was like, yeah, I, I definitely want to make a donation. Well, what we realized was we could adopt a turtle. So Lee has uh, chose to uh, adopt a turtle named April. Okay, You can go on their website. I, I don't have their website handy. I wish I did. I'd share it with you. Um, actually, you know what? Hold on. I might. I might. Being that this is also for good cause. Let's see if I can pull this up real quick. Ah, here we go. I can actually show you the turtle that we are adopting. So, Phyllis. Somebody tag Phyllis. This is going to be your new turtle. So, um, get with me. I want to get your information. And um, I will take care of getting this turtle uh, adopted, which uh, is a donation to that, to that facility um, in your name on your behalf. And then you'll get, I don't know if you get updates on it. But uh, yeah, it's it's definitely a, definitely a really cool place. If you're ever down there, I highly recommend it. Tracy Hughes Moore, my wish is for my sister to help take care of our mother's beloved cat Zoe. My sister took Zoe after our mom died earlier this year. Zoe had cancer in her eye and had to have it removed. She's recovered well. But because she's an older kitty, she needs uh, special food to keep her weight up. 
A gift to Chewy would be so helpful. Thank you. Uh, well, Tracy, we have a Secret Santa who has a $25 Chewy gift card uh, that they would like to grant you. So that will be on its way. Told you there's a lot of pet, a lot of pet wishes this year. Uh, Amber Williamson, a donation to any senior dog shelter or sanctuary. Um, we have a secret Santa that would like to make a, a donation on your behalf, but they would like to know which one you want. So, um, I know you said any, but uh, you probably have one that is near and dear to your heart. So, Amber, get with me, and we'll get that information, and we will. Uh, not we will, but uh, a Secret Santa will be making a donation on your behalf. Tina Siegel. I'd love to get our cats a new scratch tree. We had one that was a little older, and I made the mistake to move it and break it in the process. Needless to say, our cats are not happy. Uh, thanks to Tom and all the iWin members, it's a great to be part of a great community. Uh, we have a secret Santa that is willing to get you a new scratch tree. So, so maybe you have some ideas on Amazon, uh, but uh, one way or another, she's going to take care of getting you a new cat tree. Crystal Horton, I wish for a supply of cat and dog food, so my baby said plenty for the winter. Uh, we will get you some dog or cat food or a Walmart gift card up to uh, $50. Again, this is the one person who is trying to figure out the gift cards or ordering some stuff for you, but one way or another, we'll get that taken care of. Person's also taking care of this, this second wish is also a gift card to Walmart so they can continue to feed the feral kittens and cats in my neighborhood to share with uh, the local animal rescue. So again, if they can't get you the gift card, they're gonna order it and uh, get it sent out to you. That, that's that's all for pets. Okay, so now we're back to a um, couple couple general ones in general. Um, Michelle Hill. I would love any gift cards that I can use to purchase hats and gloves to pass out at my son's school. I work there and we're trying to collect them to pass out right before winter break. One of our crossing guards did a couple years ago and he set up a table for the kids to take what they need. We'd love to be able to do this this year for them. Uh, Michelle, I have a $50 Amazon gift card for you to help out with those. Still a few more pages. So I don't, I don't know how many we're at, but we, we still have a, a bunch of wishes to go through. Latanya Thornhill. I'd love a gift donation to an organization that helps young cancer survivors heal through free outdoor adventures. I was able to attend one this year and it's life changing. The goal is to pay it forward so another YE cancer survivor can attend and bring awareness to the organization, True North Trek. And she puts their direct link, uh, which I can't copy and paste obviously on my handwritten notes. Um, but I know that, uh, get with me, we have a member that wants to do a Secret Santa donation of $100 towards that cause. Mary Cotter Lally. Mary Cotter Lally. My wish is for backpacks. I volunteer at a foot clinic for the homeless. If anyone has extra backpacks, I would gladly take them. Our patients often carry their belongings in a sack, sometimes paper sacks, which don't last in the rain. Now, I know a lot of us win a lot of backpacks, so I know that some of you guys are probably gonna hear this wish and say, wow, that's really great. I have some backpacks I could send them. If that is the case, Send me a message, tell me what, what it's for. I will get Mary's information and give it to you so you can send them directly to her. But we also have 
an Iowan Secret Santa uh, that is going to help out with that and getting you um, some backpacks as well. Uh, Angela, Angel Buffalino. Angel Buffalino. So she asked for a subscription to iWin, uh, and I could really use a warm coat. Um, there were a lot of requests for iWin memberships. We're, we're going we're gonna to talk about some iWin memberships. We're going to give a couple iWin memberships away, and, and I have an idea for some future ones. So, uh, so I'm not taking care of the, the iWin membership here for, for Angel. However, I want to get you a warm coat. I felt that was more important. Uh, so I want you to go on Amazon. I want you to pick a coat up to 70 bucks, and I want you to send me the link. And uh, I'll purchase that coat and get it headed your way. So, actually, you know what? I take that back. I did, that's why I did that. I did the wish, $70 coat, three months of I win. So I have three months of I win coming your way. I still have the coat coming your way too. Pick a coat, up to 70 bucks, send me the link. I'll take care of that and get that to you. Don't even remember my own wishes. Uh, I gotta tell you, <laughs> I was I, I was blown away. I sent out the newsletter earlier tonight, and my phone and emails just kept dinging because so many people kept wanting to donate things and be involved. Still, uh, again, I can't um, I, I can't thank you guys enough. Once I'm checking, some of these people are sending me messages. I don't want to miss something. All right. Uh, let's see. Trudy Van Sluten. She's up next. Trudy Van Sluten. Known Trudy for a long time. Trudy is a retired school teacher who has a who has a book. I, I forget what the book is called, but I wish I wish I could remember it. I wonder if Trudy has some books. Might have to hit Trudy up for some books to to give away because I have the book. Um, talks about her um, basically her stories as a school teacher in Chicago. Uh, she says, I would like scented skin lotions and scented soaps for my cousin Joyce in Florida. She's on a tight, limited budget and never buys them for herself and usually isn't, there isn't extra money for those extras. Uh, well, good news, we have an Iwin Secret Santa who's going to take care of some of those and, and get those over to you. Uh, next up, we, we had, a, you know, it, it is a sweepstakes group, right? So we did have some sweepstakes requests and uh, we did have some people decide to grant some of those sweepstakes uh, requests. First one was Michelle Schultz. She wished for pre-printed three by five papers and cards for snail mail entries. My hands can't write as well as they used to. My hands can write, but I write really, really sloppy. So I actually use um, Use Gen Day, and I'm going to type the address in here because it also is a business. It's print my three by five fives.com. Hopefully, I did that right. Yeah, let's see, let me go up and pull it up. But uh, Jen uh, has agreed that she will. Get you 200 papers and 200 cards, and uh, she will get them them out. Yep, that came up there. So uh, she's done a lot of mine. So as a business, I want to give her a little shout out and thank you for helping with that wish. Linda Ricotta, Linda Ricotta, stamps and three by five cards. Another mail-in supplies or cardstock paper to make my own. Um, so I actually had one person who 
made some of the three and a half by five cards. Sometimes you see those three and a half by five. They're usually prize logic and everyone doesn't know what to do, doesn't know where to get them. They're hard to buy. Most people make their own. I get mine from a, like a print supply store. We order like me and another person order, you know, like last order we did like a thousand or we might even done more than a thousand just so we had them and we did them in bulk. But uh, she made some. So uh, she gave me some to give away. So I want to send a hundred your way. So she she's actually going to send it directly to you. But Linda, contact me. We have a hundred of those because I know those are the hard ones to get. <laughs> Someone said I'm cheap for envelopes and stuff. Me too. I, I don't. I don't do many mail-ins unless I think they're really good. But you guys know, I tell you, some of them are really, really good. And then there's others that I'm like, don't do it. Don't do it. There was one in tonight's issue. And what did I say? Resist the temptation. I know some of you guys have already filled out the envelopes and got them in the mail. Um, <laughs> but that's that's up to you. Uh, most mail-ins do say hand, hand write your address. But it doesn't mean somebody else can't hand write it, it for you. Um, so you don't, she's not printing them like off a computer. She's actually hand printing them. So. I know some of you guys contributed some stars during the event. Thanks for those. The stars, for those who don't know, they're kind of like a, a tip jar for content creators. Um, by all means, you don't need to you don't need to um, tip me, but anything that gets contributed in the form of stars, I put towards this event the next year. So, uh, you know, it's usually fifty to one hundred dollars over the course of the year, but I put it all towards this these wishes. Let's see. Next up, uh, Raina Durham. A lot of great wishes here. I wish for a roll of stamps and other mail-in material. I like doing mail-ins, but it can be quite expensive. Uh, thank you, hashtag I win give back. Uh, I'm also going to have a hundred of those three and a half by five cards sent to you, and then another I win secret Santa uh, one to take care of some stamps and some sweeping supplies for you. So get uh, me all your information, and we will get that over to you. Uh, just a reminder if I called your name tonight, if I'm still going to call your name, you want to direct message me from the account on Facebook you made the comment with. You want to include your name, your address, your email address, and then if there was something specific about your wish like sizes or a certain item or something, feel free to include that information in there. Uh, you might even want to remind me of what your wish was so I just don't have to go back and look it up. It'll save me a little bit of time. But I will get to these over the next few days, week, and we will get them all taken care of and uh, get you guys all squared away. So let's have a little patience. I'm, I'm sure it's going to take a little time, but um, it'll be worth it. Somebody asked if I, if I win a lot of mail-ins. You know, I, I mail a lot in for like codes. So so mailing in for, for codes, sometimes yes, I do. Um, I think I just, I just want a cooler by mail-in. Oh, and I want a gift card by mail-in too. Um, I wasn't trying for the core, I was trying for the grand prize. Um, but it, it, I, I do, I, I definitely win more than I spend, but I, I'm not one of those people who are gonna mail 500, 1,000 a week. It, it just doesn't, doesn't happen. Uh, what do we got? So let's move on. There were some I win requests. There, there was a lot of requests for memberships, classes, shirts, things like that. So 
I gotta tell you, I picked a few, some members picked a few, uh, but we're actually going to do, we're gonna do a giveaway. It's gonna be, it's gonna be on Facebook. Um, it'll probably start next week. Next week I'll make a post and there'll be a bunch of winners. It'll be a choice of a t-shirt, three months or a class, okay? So, and I'll, I'll do, you know, anywhere six, 10 of them or something. I'll do a bunch of different winners and uh, it'll be winner's choice. And that'll be for members, that'll be for non-members. So because there were just so many wishes, and I, I, I appreciate the fact that you guys all wanna be part of I Win and want it added to your membership and added to your subscription. But uh, obviously I couldn't fulfill them all this way. I just got a message from, from Jen Wilson. So Jen, Jen Wilson um, also has, has wrote a few books. And so, yeah, so I apologize. But, yeah, she uh, she wrote a few books. And, oops, now it disappeared where it was at. And she's willing to give two books away. It's The Great, the great Gift Giving Guide by Jennifer Wilson. And she'll send a book to two different people uh, as long as you live in the U.S. So thanks, Jen, for donating that. Uh, here's what I want you to do. So we had the one earlier. This time I want you to comment with hashtag book. So if you have interest in Jen's book, The Great Gift Giving Guide, put hashtag book. Tomorrow I'll go through. I'll pick two people. We'll get your information. We'll get over to Jen. Uh, thank you to Jen for donating those books for you. So yeah, so if you want a book, just hashtag book, just one entry. That's what you do. I'll go through, I'll randomize it, and I'll pick from, I'll pick from the people who did that. So, uh, and being Jen is, is a business, I'm okay with uh, her posting the link to the book, so, uh, which she has now done. So, so if you want to check it out, by all means. Yeah, and, and and for those um, for those interested who have businesses, you know, interested in like helping out for the give back, um, by all means, get with me early next year or late next year, right before we do this. Um, I definitely try and take care of those. So let's talk about some of the I win ones. Uh, Sonia Alston, um, an I win secret Santa has granted you three months. D. Martin, and I win Secret Center has granted you three months. Cindy Royal Westerhouse, uh, she asked for an I win membership. She also said, I love watching your unboxing videos. I'm all in too. And I win Secret Santa has granted you three months. So, uh, and, and I know I probably missed some of these, you know, that that um, that had some stuff to give away. If you have some stuff to give away, uh, by all means, send me a direct message, and we'll take care of them over the next week. I really appreciate you guys doing this. Um, and uh, Amber's willing to donate a movie. Um, I think I have a couple movies that have been donated. So, uh, Amber, why don't you why don't you send me that? And we will we'll do a separate giveaway for uh, some AMC movie tickets because I know I have uh, a couple other people who uh, at least have a ticket and a drink and some popcorn. So we'll combine some and we'll we'll send the family to the movies on that one.
sorry I'm getting pinged with with all these different ones so so yeah so if I if I missed you on on some of these and and if anyone else has has some things to um, to donate uh, by all means um, get with me we'll figure out a giveaway and we'll do them All right, let's get back to this. Sorry. Hans Poshman. Hans. I would love to be able to give someone a membership to I win. I'm teaching a class on entering sweepstakes at work, and I feel like it would be a cool way to end the presentation. I'll try and take my job, are you, Hans? Um, no, Hans is a great guy. Um, just had an amazing trip experience uh, but uh, I know he's doing some public speaking at work and that's pretty cool that you're gonna educate some people on sweepstakes uh, get with me get with me we will make that happen we'll uh, we'll get you at least a membership or two to give out during your your presentation Tanya Agbana, Tanya Agbana, uh, you asked for an Iwin t-shirt or hoodie, and Alona Breckis, Alona Breckis asked for an Iwin shirt. Uh, so I have the gray Iwin shirts, uh, those I have here at home. Um, I believe I have most sizes still, but I want you to get with me, and we'll see if we have your size, hopefully we do, and uh, we'll get you both out a t-shirt. Judy Estrin, uh, my wish is simple. I want to meet Tom, the owner of iWin, at the annual convention in Arizona. Over the years, you've helped me with so many questions. Thank you. I got to tell you, if someone you know, wants to meet me at the event, uh, I'm honored. I appreciate that. Um, so, Judy, we'll definitely make sure that uh, we meet up. We'll get a photo. I'll bring you an iWin pack. So, I'll get you an iWin gift pack and... Um, We'll meet up in Arizona, so we just need to uh, make that happen. So not a problem. I know that Krista had asked, uh, Krista Strider, her wish was about doing a private event for maybe a few small people at the convention. Um, I, I'm, I'm limited on any anytime somebody's running the convention. It's their convention. It's not my convention. It's not my show. Uh, I have to abide by what they want, what they don't want. So now that being said, I have talked to Paula. Um, I have talked to Paula and I have talked to uh, Karen. And we're working on some sort of like meet and greet Q&A session with me specifically. Um, we've done it in the past out there. It was packed. Some of you guys remember it was, it was absolutely crazy. Um, so we're, we are working on something. Um, I just don't have any of the exact details on it yet. So the next convention. So there, there's actually a lot of conventions going on. Uh, the national conventions in Arizona in July. There's a like a mini, which is a one day event in North Carolina in March. And then there's also a, a full mini, which is going to be a Friday night, an all day Saturday and a Sunday uh, in Memphis in October. So you guys can find all the details on the site, on the iWin site. Just go to the conventions tab and it's up there. Uh, I am not in charge of any of them. Um, I hopefully will be at all of them. I'll for sure be at the first two, North Carolina and Arizona. Uh, I plan on being in Memphis, just I have some other things that may contradict. So. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to be in Memphis. I, I have not signed up for Memphis as of yet, um, but uh, I, will do, uh, I will do what I can do. All right, let's, uh, let's move on to the fun ones, right? That's how we're going to end tonight. We're going to end tonight with a bunch of fun ones. We did a whole lot of uh, really serious and very uh, people that really had a, a really big need um, for this, and we've granted a ton of those wishes. But, but I do have a handful of what I call just 
just kind of fun ones. Kind of ones that I thought were kind of interesting out in left field. Um, they weren't just granted by myself. They were granted by members for whatever reason, again, that resonated with them. So somebody asked, like, um, will there ever be a convention or will there be a convention in New Jersey or has there been one? I can't remember if there has been one, but conventions have to have hosts and the hosts decide where they're going to be. So if you decide you're going to run a convention, it's up to you where you want to host it. It's not like, you know, like, like a few years back, everyone's like, oh, we want one in Nashville. Well, if you don't have anyone that wants to run run in Nashville, let alone there's a lot of parameters that go into it. You have to have hotel space. It's got to be realistic in pricing. There's a ton of components to it. So uh, anyone can run a convention um, and anyone can choose wherever they want. You can you can run it, you know, in, uh, in Rome, Italy, you know, but you got to get people to sign up and come for it and you got to sign contracts. So uh, it's really up to you. But just to give you an idea. Yeah, so everyone always has places they want to be. But if no one's willing to host it in those places, and some places just aren't realistic because of cost. You know, if the hotels cost four or five hundred dollars, and there's no parking, and there's no airports, you know, there or airports are expensive. There, there's a lot of parameters that go into deciding that. So it's not as easy as people think. That's why I don't want to run one. I like going to them. I like being part of them. Don't want to run one. Uh, all right, fun ones. Let's start off with. Gretchen Gao Chapman. Gretchen Gao Chapman. I'm a nurse who has to work on the 24th. The nurses are doing a Great British Bake Off for nurses that day. I love three $5 Starbucks gift cards for the nurses that get the most votes for best bake and no soggy bottoms. So I got to admit, I saw this and I was like, I, I don't drink Starbucks. I don't go to Starbucks. But can you even get a cup of coffee at Starbucks for five bucks? Like, I, you might get like a muffin. So I figured we got to make those at least 10. Um, so I, I want to get you <laughs> at least three $10 gift cards to make that a little more worthwhile, make the prize a little bigger for you. Um, so get with me. I'm going to get you some Starbucks gift cards so that you guys can have that, that event. I can't grant a hippopotamus. Maybe one day. No hippopotamus, no seven-day cruises. Those were some wishes that didn't get granted. Uh, let's see. Sylvia, Sylvia Fugate. Uh, wish for someone else. Uh, she wanted a truck, and she attached a picture of it, a specific truck. So uh, I do have a secret Santa that wants to get you your son that truck. So reach out to me on that. Mary Pettiford. Uh, my wish is for a new toaster, a four slice if possible. So I went to Amazon and saw a uh, Proctor four slice toaster. So get with me. If that one works for you, I will uh, get it on the way. Dorothy Cagle, an Ancestry.com kit. Well, Secret Santa has one and uh, wants to get it to you. So we'll get that on your way too. Uh, Minta Boggs. Minta Boggs uh, said, I wish this for my son and some mailing stamps for me. So the this for my son was a, a photo, a photo of like a Pokemon game. Um, so I do have a secret sand that's going to take care of that and get you some stamps. Uh, Jen Wilson, I know those stickers you get in swag bags. Now, you know those stickers you get in swag bags, the ones you never know what to do with. I've collected since stickers since the 70s. Uh, how about a year of swag pack stickers? Um, so I have two people, I have two secret centers who have some stickers to, uh, to send you. So get me your address and we will get you those stickers. I know you're watching because this is the same Jen who... Uh, who donated those couple books to give away. 
Uh, Robert Hoffman, uh, thank you for the opportunity. I win. Each year I DJ a dance party at a sleepover camp for children from the Exceptional Needs Network. Many of the children are autistic or have special needs. They make me feel like the most famous DJ in the whole world. I basically only charge them gas money. Uh, I've had a case of oh, one of the things I've given out that they love, a great souvenir for the night, are glow light sticks. I've had a case in my garage for the panda years and most of the batteries are dead. The grant could replenish my light stock supply. Thanks, Roscoe. So some of you guys know Robert. Robert has uh, been kind enough to DJ at some of the conventions, including the last convention up in New Hampshire. So we will, um, we have a secret Santa that wants to get you some new light sticks and get those over to you. Uh, Donna Kessler Schechter, Donna Kessler Schechter. I would love to be able to grant everyone's wishes. I would love a projector for showing movies outside. We have a secret Santa that has a projector and would like to get that your way. So we will get that your way. CMCO, CM and then the last name is CIO. I don't know if that's your real name, and I really wasn't sure. Um, always use your real name on Facebook, social media. Uh, I know some of you guys don't. It doesn't. If you're entering sweepstakes, it doesn't make any sense. You're gonna you're gonna lose out on prizes because of it, because people aren't sure. Just like I wasn't sure when I was reading through these wishes on this. Uh, if it is, and that that's your legal name, um, I apologize. But if it's not, change it. Get your real name on there. But their wish was. Uh, I would love to have a huge bag of sunflower hearts to feed the flock of pine siskins that I have at my house. Nights have been below 20 for weeks. Uh, Burr, happy holidays. So you obviously live somewhere up north. Uh, get with me though. Um, I'd like to get you uh, a bag of those sent over from Amazon. So, so get with me on that. Somebody asked if that was the Robert on the sweepstakes document. It is Robert Hoffman. So Robert's a celebrity. Um, so yeah, so DJ Robert was on a sweepstakes special years ago. Some of, some of these I catch, but I it, it's hard to catch the all the comments. So Uh, what do we got next? Gretchen Brown. Gretchen Brown. My wish uh, is to go see Pink in concert when she is in her hometown in mine September 18th next year in Philadelphia. She has always been my idol, even though she's three years younger than me and went to the opposite school that I did, CB West. So I would like $100 towards my ticket to see her. Thank you. It's one of my dreams to see her in concert. My last dream didn't come true when I wanted to see Neil Diamond in concert because he then retired from concerts. I'm wanting to chase my dreams before they disappear because life is too short. Uh, we have a hundred dollars Venmo uh, coming your way. Shawnee Yance. Shauna wished for two pounds of C's candy nuts and chews that I may or may not share with my sisters. So we actually have two secret Santas taking care of you. One person uh, is going to send you some. And then the other person uh, actually wanted to send you some in memory of her friend Barb. And she used to send these or similar to Barb every year for Christmas and, and Barb is unfortunately no longer with us. So in memory of Barb, she wanted to do this. Uh, so hopefully 
that should give you enough to share with your sisters. So you have those coming your way. Jennifer Mooney Ettringer. She just said spa day. Uh, we have a $50 spa finders gift card that a secret Santa would like to get you. The next one is 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 uh, is interesting. So this is from uh, this is from Jen Day, and she said, "I'd love to give my niece Lily a llama. Well, adopt a llama because her mom Kelly would disown me if I got her a natural llama." So a member reached out to me. Uh, Tina reached out to me, a Secret Santa, and said, uh, "Hey, I don't have a llama, but I have alpacas." So she would like to offer you and Lily, and you can bring her mom, a alpaca virtual experience so you can meet them, see them, and uh, she'll get you a photo or, or something and get that over to you. So kind of a unique, one-of-a-kind experience. Uh, I thought it was kind of creative. So reach out to me and we will uh, get you set up with them and get that coordinated. Nancy Staves. So Nancy said, my holiday wish is for a new Fitbit Inspire 2 to track my steps, heart rate, and sleep patterns. Um, we have a member that has a Fitbit Charge 3. So if you're okay with a Fitbit Charge 3, why don't you get with me and we'll get that in your hands from a secret Santa. Amber Garlinghouse. Amber said she wished for some great Pop-Tarts. I think I would like a pack. Some of you guys know that not only I, but also Lee, both won a year's worth of great Pop-Tarts. And uh, we just got our second shipments. So out of coincidence, I have a few extra great Pop-Tarts. So uh, so we'll, we'll get, uh, we'll figure out to get like one of those, uh, one of the little boxes, the prepaid boxes together and get those over to you. Do they not sell those in stores? If they sell those in stores, I might just get you a grocery gift card. But if not, I have some here, and we'll get you some. So reach out to me on that. Uh, Pianette Skeens. I wish for a Books A Million or Amazon card for my daughter to buy some books. She loves reading and love gifting her that for Christmas. Uh, I have a $50 Barnes & Noble's gift card. Um, if that works for you, I would like to get that in your hands. Shelly Hunter. I wish for a gift card to Chipotle. Guacamole and chips are my jam. Um, I have a $25 Chipotle gift card for you. So please reach out to me on that. Linda Yeager Zankowicz. Linda Wager Zankowicz. I want to support my local independent movie theater, not a chain. Attendance has really gone down due to the pandemic. Would love a Fandango gift card or code. Uh, yeah, get with me. Um, I will either get you uh, $25 Venmo towards two tickets um, or a $25 Fandango gift card, whatever is easier for you to use there. Uh, I will get that over to you. Uh, Amy Boyd, just a couple more. So down to our last few. Thanks for uh, being with me this entire time. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, again, give it a like, give it a share. By all means, uh, subscribe to our new YouTube channel. Uh, I can't say thanks enough. Thank you to all the members again who contributed um, big, small, and made this event possible. Uh, it would not be possible without them. Um, you know, I cannot... Say thanks enough, I cannot take the credit. Um, I put it together, but uh, it's really because of the members to make this such a, an amazing and successful event. Uh, Amy Boyd, this is very generous of you. Thank you for the chance. My little has been begging for a Magic Mixes Magical Misting Cauldron for quite some time. They're actually pretty cool. I gotta tell you, I didn't know what in the world this was. But I wanted to find out. It intrigued me. So I actually looked it up. I think I got the right one on Amazon. I'm not really sure. But um, you're going to help me out. 
and we're going to make sure she gets the right one. And uh, I want to take care of that and get it. I remember always being so specific growing up as a child about things I wanted. And um, I don't think my parents ever listened to me. They, they got me what they wanted to get me. Now that I'm an adult, it's the opposite. Like my dad would be like, what do you want for Christmas? I'm like, I'm not telling you. Pick something out. I'm not telling you what I want. So it's uh, it's totally reversed. But yeah, when I was little, I, I would have had this. I would have wanted a magic mixes, magical misting cauldron, or something specific like that. So, so Amy, we will get that for you. Um, Debbie Jensen. Debbie Jensen wants a Disney gift card um, towards her and her nephew's trip next year. And uh, that um, has been granted by a Secret Santa. Has a uh, $50 Disney gift card coming your way. Amber Hanners. Amber. Amber said, uh, my wish is for a good set of heated gloves for my husband who works outside all winter long, directing traffic for Duke Energy. That was a very unique request. Um, so Amber, what I want you to do is I want you to find a pair on Amazon that work. I want you to send me over the link and all your information and uh, we will get those out to you. Uh, Cheryl Sutton. Cheryl Sutton. Uh, I wish for a Delta gift card to help offset the cost so I can visit my family and see all three of my kids and four grandkids and my two brothers. That would be amazing. Merry Christmas to all. So we know, you know, we try and keep the limits out hard so we can grant it as much as possible. Well, and I win Secret Santa didn't have a Delta uh, gift card, but they did have a $250 Southwest card that if Southwest works for you, um, they would like you to have it. So reach out to me. If that's acceptable for you, we will get that gift card on its way. And a uh, huge uh, thanks to the Secret Santa that, uh, that donated that. Um, so this is the last kind of wish, and then I have I have two I have two I win memberships, full memberships, one year memberships. I want to give out uh, to two people, but this is the last true wish, and th this was one I personally picked out, and it was from uh, Laura Fortenberry, Laura Fortenberry, and it said, "My boss is 90, 91 in January, and still working forty plus hours a week." He loves the Phillies, but doesn't often take time for himself. I'd love if someone were to secret Santa him a pair of home tickets to a Phillies game so he can take his son or grandson out to a special outing. He has so many stories he tells around baseball, stories of him playing in high school, the Army, Little League, and taking kids to see minor league games, that I'd love to give him one more special memory. Um... You know, I grew up playing baseball and going to games, and, and you know, I, I still have the goal of trying to get to all the ballparks. So this really hit home with me, and, and I actually, I, I reached out to a couple contacts with the Phillies, and uh, I couldn't get a response. So if anyone has a good contact at the Phillies, because I thought they might want to help me with this one, uh, that would be great. Get me in touch with them. But regardless, I want to get him not only a pair of tickets, but if he wants three tickets so he can take his son and grandson, I want to take care of those. Now, I looked, and single tickets aren't on sale yet. So I want uh, you to get with him, figure out a game that works, uh, that you know he can take them both, and uh, we will, one way or another, uh, I will make sure he gets some tickets to go to that game. So, so get with me, and we will get that one figured out. Uh, the last two I want to do are, are just two I win memberships. And again, you know, thanks again. Just a reminder, if, you're, if your name was called for any of the wishes tonight, reach out to me on direct message. I'm not going to get to them tonight. I'm probably going to bed sooner than later. Um, but tomorrow, this weekend, I will work on getting you matched up with the donation people and getting them all done. I need you to direct message me from the, the account that you commented with. Okay, so I can match them up. Remind me of your wishes, great. Give me your name, your email, your mailing address. And then some of them, like I said, I need links, sizes, different things. Get those over to me. Uh, I will do my best to get these filled 
and get these turned around as quick as possible. Uh, again, thanks to so many people, uh, you know, 60 plus members who donated and made this huge event possible. Um, thank you to some of the businesses, Jen Day with her 3x5 printing, uh, Carolyn for donating to a couple wishes, uh, Jen for donating the books, um, you know, and just all the Secret Santas that, uh, that we have. But uh, here's, here's my two I want to give an iWin membership to. The first one is, uh, and these, these are full one-year memberships, get with me and I'll get them over to you. Um, Jenny Cox said, I'd really like an iWin membership for my daughter who turned 18 and is ready to win some sweepstakes. So I'd love to share this fun hobby with her. You guys know I'm a big advocate to get kids involved in sweepstakes. I purposely put sweepstakes in the newsletter that are geared towards kids and children and you know so you can get your kids get your grandkids entering and having fun with this wonderful hobby that we all share so this was a no-brainer for me um i want to see them get started her mom's a good teacher i know jenny um jenny knows i have a wish list that she can help me with too um so jenny knows what i'm talking about uh but uh let's let's take care of that for um for your daughter and uh, I will do that. The other one um, was actually just just pure effort, in my opinion. And uh, it's it's no secret this person's good at skill contests, which I love. So uh, Wendy Jabakowski wrote this little poem story. Uh, I'm actually going to use it in a video uh, coming up, but I wanted to read it to you. And I thought uh, it was definitely worth a one-year membership. So she said, "'Twas the month before Christmas, when all through their houses, not a sweeper was, sleep was sleeping, they can't stop clicking their mouses. The 12-day lists were crafted by IWIN members with care in hopes that their winning notifications soon would be there. They entered our on phones while snug in their bed, with visions of winds dancing in their heads. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my laptop to see what was the matter. When what to my wondering eyes should appear, but a UPS truck, a sleigh without reindeer. With a little old driver's